We present the news. You analyze the various topics and distill the issues as they unfold. Your distillation points matter as we're about to highlight them in our Social Buzz report. GBN Social Buzz is reaching beyond the local platform to share with you what's trending on social. Less paperwork and less interfacing with immigration officers as services at the Morris Bishop International Airport have improved. With the installation of three kiosks, e-passport readable machines at the Maurice Bishop International Airport, visitors and returning nationals to Grenada can now enter with more ease once they are the holders of an e-passport. A faster, more efficient service at the Immigration Department is now available with the installation of the updated kiosk e-passport readable machines. Head of the Immigration Department, Superintendent Leroy Joseph, explained that the previous kiosk served only returning nationals. However, the updated machines can now serve people from all nationalities. Social media users took to the comment section to share their thoughts about this latest development. The following views are that of members of the public and not of the Grenada Broadcasting Network. Kate said, Sad I won't see it. Jacinta added, it was an ease, great initiative. Lorena said, let's pray that the system don't crash, great initiative. Everest replied, all systems do crash from time to time. Remember our traffic lights? Wolfgang said, it's great, but the downside will be automation, robotics and artificial intelligence replacing people. Governments throughout the world will need less workers. This automation of everything is leading to what the World Economic Forum called the useless class. It will lead to mass unemployment, the reason why the U.S. is pushing UBI, universal basic income. It's a form of global welfare. Allison said, very nice. Alstasia added, way to go Grenada, nice start. That's what's buzzing tonight. We encourage you, our viewers and listeners, to submit your think pieces on trending topics locally, regionally, and internationally via our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Continue to share your thoughts and concerns with us on our social media platforms.